Hey everyone, how you doing there? Welcome to part two of Bangkok Canals. Let's get right into it. In this episode, first I'm going to take you down the longest river in Bangkok and show you around. Number two, we're then going to navigate through a canal lock off the river. I've never done this before. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Number three, we're going to look at the future of Bangkok as many think it can be underwater by the year 2050, not to mention other cities like Manila and Jakarta that are facing the same problems. And then we're going to look at why the possibilities of these places are actually sinking. Now make sure to watch part one of Bangkok Canals in my previous video. Let's get going. Hey everyone, how are we doing? Traveling on the go here. I'm on top of a boat on the Chapya River in Bangkok. It is, I believe, the biggest river that goes through Bangkok. So I'm having a pretty good time. As you can see, there's a boat, just like that. And there's nobody out here. So I rented a boat with a buddy. I'm gonna try not to fall off. And I'm walking on the boat here. And look at this, very cool. As you can see, whoa, almost fell off. We're hitting a little chop. Wow. Yeah, right here. So I have a bird's eye view right here. And as you can see, there are so many high rises along the river here. The city is just massive. So let's move on to the Chapraya River. It's 230 miles long. It ends in the Gulf of Thailand. 60,000 people commute on this river daily. The river's importance stretches back as far as the 15th century and it's obviously a major factor in transport and shipping. So many historical and modern places are along this river and I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple right now. First up is Asia Tik, a shopping and dining experience with loads of fresh food and tasty beverages. Second is the Old Customs House which was built in 1888. This area includes fun little cafes and bars. Next up is Icon Siam Shopping Mall, which is situated perfectly on the river. And finally, Wat Arun, otherwise known as the Temple of the Dawn, a must-see historical landmark. So I've lived in Bangkok on and off for around 10 years and here's some things I have to tell you. My average rent for a one bedroom in a resort style layout with a pool and fitness center is around $280. Number two, the average taxi starts at $1 and a normal 30 minute ride in a taxi is around $8. Number three, food is abundant and I usually have a big Thai meal for two to three dollars. And of course there's international food too. Number four, domestic plane tickets to all over Thailand are no more than $80 round trip and sometimes a lot cheaper than that. Number five, through Uber Eats or other food apps, I can have my food delivered to my room for around 50 cents. Number six, there are loads of quality hotels with pools and breakfast in the morning for 15 to $30. This is all completely real. Another reason I've always been drawn to Thailand and Southeast Asia is because it's one of the most interesting regions I've ever seen from the food, the culture, the history, and of course, the people. So let's move on to number two, canal locks. Now I've never been through a canal lock, so this is gonna be really interesting. I'm not sure how it's gonna play out. I had two mishaps along the way. I put my camera down on the gimbal on top of the boat right there, fell over, it almost went into the water. My second mishap was I'm sitting on top of the boat and the weather is so hot right now that the paint's actually coming off the top of the boat. I put my hand down and paint's all over my hand right there. So I'm learning as I go. 
Let's go ahead and move forward and get into the canal lock. So we're in a bit of a lock right here. They're moving different walls. The water's flowing. I'm not really sure exactly how it works here. I'll flip it around so you can see. They're gonna lift that gate right there. And then I guess we're going to go to the other side and there's a gate on that side. So let's check it out. All right, looks like they're closing this side right here. And we're trying to get around there, but I don't think we can, yeah? This is really interesting. We're stuck in the middle. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, we're hoping that this is coming up. I think it's slowly going up. All right, very good. Yep, it's slowly going up here. There's a lot of things shut down right now because of COVID. So we weren't sure if we were gonna get through and we're hoping this continues here. Oh yeah. So we have a little, I'm not sure what we call this exactly. So they got a pulley system. This side is finally going down and this side is going up right there. So it's just taking some time. It's a very slow, so if you're curious how a canal lock works, I'll put a diagram below that kind of takes you step by step. So please take a look. So these are the different locks right here you can see. Wow. Yeah, look at that, cool. Woo, we made it through. Only took 30 minutes, but hey, we made it through. So we're on one of the canals here in Bangkok. Like I was saying here before, there's around 1,700 different canals in Bangkok. And this is one of them. So let's take a look through a little neighborhood here. So you can see all the boats behind me right here. And normally during tourist season, and that's just about every day here in Thailand and Bangkok, these boats would be super busy with people, tourists, and probably just Thais. Some kids are yelling over there. But right now, there's no one really in the city and COVID kind of crippled the boat industry as far as tourism. So I've read so many articles in the past that a lot of people think Bangkok will be underwater in around 50 years due to global warming and other factors. Um, when you see a lot of places like this, all the different canals, it makes you think it's very possible. I'm sure with engineering, they'll figure something out, but there's no doubt that Bangkok's right at sea level. So I kept hearing about flooding in Bangkok and throughout Thailand, but I wanted to see if things are really getting worse. I decided to look up articles with the keywords Bangkok Underwater 2021. The first page of Google lit up with numerous articles and I didn't even get to the second page. Now flooding during the rainy season has always been common but the degree of flooding definitely seems to be getting worse. So why is the flooding happening? Is it just a cycle? Global warming? Well, one factor I discovered for sure is called land subsidence. Now, I'm not an expert. Maybe it's all global warming or maybe it's not. But the land subsidence is certainly a key factor. So what is land subsidence? I typed it in and this is the definition I found. Basically, in simple terms, when you take out or remove materials under the ground, like water, minerals, or gas, 
the Earth's surface will sink or decrease. In Bangkok's case, the removal of underground water is causing rapid sinking along with rising sea levels. Now in California, here are some photos that help better explain land subsidence. As you can see, throughout the years, the surface of the land has been decreasing rapidly. Now back to the capital of Thailand, which is home to over 10 million people, I've included a diagram with numerous factors that are leading to this city's growing concerns about rising water levels and land subsidence. To explain this chart more, the first issue here is increased intensity and duration of rainfall. Second is the weight of urban buildup. Third, sea level rise due to climate change. And fourth, underground water extraction. So the major reasons the subsurface is being disturbed by land subsidence are as follows, mining, dissolution of limestone, oil and gas extraction, and underground water extraction. There are two main questions I keep hearing. One, how long before Bangkok might be underwater? And two, how much is Bangkok sinking each year? The answer for question one has varied responses, but some say as soon as 15 years, why question two has Bangkok sinking at about two centimeters per year. All right, everybody, that's going to wrap up this video. Bangkok Canals Part 2. I had an amazing time navigating around Bangkok by boat. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me anytime. Thanks so much if you made it to the end, and I really appreciate it if you stop by to watch. If you can, like, comment, and share this video, and make sure to see my other videos on my channel. Take care, guys. I'll see you next time. I don't want to save you. Don't want to be strangers. Let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations. Live and go against them. Just let go and start up something new. Cause I know, I know, I know the what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling Let me help you out Lay your love on me Leave your head and let your mind be free Save yourself and leave